Okay, hey, um, this video will talk about how to import drum kits and uh, sound packs online. Um, a big part of the new music industry are in fact like sound kits and drum packs. Uh, you know, like Josh Pan, is he a man? Um, he's always releasing like sound packs and shit, sound kits online, and you want to be able to download these and use them in in your DAW, your digital audio workstation, and use them because they're more quality sounds. Um, if you're not recording your own stuff, which I recommend you do that, um, the next best way is to go and just download these sound packs. And this video will show you how to import them. So, as as you can see. This compressor is kind of loud. <clears throat> One sec. Okay, compressor coming down. I think you can still hear though. Should be fine. Okay, so as you can see over here, um, I have like Evil Needle drum kit volume one, and it has all these hi hats, and they're just better quality sounds. These percussions are very, very nice sounding. Uh, the snares snares are very nice. So if you want to make a, a clean sounding hip hop beat or something, I recommend getting these drum kits from Evil Needle. He makes very good ones. He also just released a new song, so it's not like his old his old beats, but still, still good. So um, there's two of them. Now the way you want to do that is you want to go online and you want to find. Uh, a drum kit. So I'm just going to do free FL Studio <coughs> drum kits. <coughs> See, so here's first site beatproduction.net. Um, I got to find something for free. So we just sound kit. These are breaks. It'll still work though. Mangled piano, I'll give it a shot. So this is gonna be a piano kit. It's gonna sound like piano. Gotta find the download. Yeah. Sometimes they hide like random crap and you don't want to download the right stuff. So okay. Um, this should work. Sometimes if it doesn't download, you have to come here to the security thing and it should show up as, what does it say? No. I'll try another one. I'll go to a different side. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a trap one. I just, I knew there was. <laughs> okay, so Trap God Sound Kit. Oh God, I'm deleting this. I'm just using it as to show you how to install it. So you can download this Trap God Sound Kit. All right, right here, downloading. It might take a little bit. So kill that. Damn, I hope this doesn't take too long, two minutes. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, you can browse online for anything you want, really. Um, the Evil Needle drum kits are here. They cost some money. Like good ones kind of cost five, six bucks, but Evil Needle, Drum kits. Evil Needle drum kit one, two, and one plus two. So you just go here and get that kit. Ten bucks. So that's how you do that. <clears throat> you can also get uh, sounds like piano sounds, um, impacts like lasers. So all that stuff. You can put, you could actually save all of those sounds into one, uh, I guess, folder 
in folder on your computer anywhere just remember where you save it because you're gonna have to route fl studio to go to that folder and um be able to place it in your browser so you can select the tracks individually it's really a good process like it it automatically separates all the sounds into kicks snares hi-hats instruments so if you have if you buy a, a pack that you know has multiple instruments like pianos um, horns orchestra pads all that it automatically splits it up and then organizes it in your browser so you can uh, choose stuff okay so trap god sound kit is downloaded okay for practical use i'm going to drag it onto my desktop okay um but you want to put it somewhere and keep it there maybe like you want to make a folder um you want to make a folder called samples drum kits something like that so just to show you how it works i'm going to do that so i'm going to make a folder called uh drum samples okay boom so there's that and then wherever that trap god i'm going to drag that trap god sound kit into the samples okay so now that's there and all this all of these are here so you have all these sounds uh crash okay there you go so that crash sound you have all these sounds um and remember where that is, okay? So it's desktop, uh, samples, and then trap gut, okay? Uh, but you can put that wherever it's you want. It's cold and my holy soul, but no one knows I'm all the souls. He rolled, oh, he rolled, my robe is born. <laughs> I got a French, there's a, a French guy sent me an acapella that he recorded on a beat. I never actually used it though, so that's hella funny. <laughs> oh man, okay. So you go into FL Studio now, and then up here you want to go to File Settings, okay? So you open File Settings, and you can see I already have a ton of these um, imported. But you want to choose an empty one, so I'm going to take this empty one, and you want to go to wherever the file is. Mine's on the Mac desktop, so it's right here, and you'll see that sample folder is now there. So you open the sample folder, and you open the Trap God Sound Kit, and you just keep going. So this one okay that's the one you want you don't want to click the the next layer because it will only import that layer if i choose this lex luger or i choose vibe um and hit okay it's only going to import that one specific folder so you want to choose that folder that has everything okay so hit okay and now that that's imported and you should see it over here if it's a good sound kit i'm going to keep it but i don't know if it will be so you should see something over here that has the name Trap God. There it is. See it? Trap God. And it's already split up. Boy Deba, Lex Luger. There's the vibe. So you open Lex Luger and all these are now imported. All right. So that's a very quick way to do it. It kind of took a while to download it, but um, now you can use these kicks. You can drag them into here. You can use this so now you can make beats with that sound kit cool if you have any questions drop them in the comments like and subscribe please i'm going to do a lot of these videos so uh stay tuned and peace thank you